Um, <clears throat> I thought we battled uh, for the most part today. Defensively, we gave up too many points in the in the second half, but particularly in the fourth quarter. We had momentum and uh, we make a live ball turnover and they get a bucket and a foul to end the third. And uh, we were just trying to keep it between the ditches from that that point. Uh, but I thought our ball movement was was pretty good. Obviously, being without <clears throat> KB drastically hurts us. Um, she averages, I think, 30.7 minutes on the season, and uh, that's the second most minutes on our roster. Uh, but I thought we battled. I mean, I thought I thought we battled pretty good. We took care of the basketball better in the second half than we did the first half, and uh, uh, I'm pleased with the effort. We got to fix our, our defense in the second half, particularly when we're when they're away from us, our staff, and our bench. Um, but we're learning a lot. Now we got to go to UAB, who just beat Charlotte at Charlotte, um, who was tied for first place in the league. Um, UAB is where the conference tournament's going to be. So for a lot of our kids, it'll be the first time they've been in there. And uh, we're trying to fight our way back to Birmingham at this point. And uh, you know we've got to figure out a way to try and uh, try and play better basketball and, and make less mental errors. You mentioned that sequence late in the third, and obviously the, the flagrant one, you all are up at that point, and you have the, the flagrant one happen, and there's a lengthy review, and it felt like just the things down the stretch of the third quarter, just every single turn was killing your whole momentum. It was weird. It was, a, it was a weird day. You know, the, um, we had the flagrant one on the post up, and I, I told Michelle, I, just, I said, I, I want you to know, Michelle being their head coach, I said, I want you to know there was no intent there, and the officials said, no, 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 there was no intent. And I said, I, I'm talking, <laughs> talking to Michelle. And, and she said, oh, no, I know. And then we had the, the, the foul technical play. What happened what there was they called a foul on five red, blew another whistle, called a technical on five red, went and assessed the foul on five red and the technical on five red, then looked at the, at the video rescinded the technical on five red and gave it to Taylor. It was weird. And they, they said it's absolutely the rule. And I said, well, the rule is phenomenal. <laughs> it's a, I've never had that happen. I, I, as a player or a coach, I've never seen you go, you, I mean, they assessed it. And you go, no, 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 not only are we going to take it back, we're going to give one to somebody else. I can see you adding one on, you know, or not calling technical and say, let's go look at it. And then, but I don't know, I mean, it was a weird, Weird series. Clarification, they actually gave a double technical and then just took away the technical. So they actually did give up okay. double technical first, but it became just a technical and Marshall. The, the official, not not the, the official that called it, the other official told me what they were, what was called, and he didn't mention the double technical, so Jason would know better because he was at the table. Um, so. The, the uh, you all get a nice defensive stop to end the third quarter. Yep. Throw a pass back into the middle. How do you, how do you coach that particular play? Is it one of those things you just wish you'd chuck it all the way down court and you know if you're going to target or eat it, you know, you know okay. or step out of bounds so we can set our defense? But we talk about that stuff um, and how you coach that particular play from then on. Is move on. We don't have time to, you know, don't have time to deal with that. Then we can't let that cost us more plays. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Um, but I thought our effort was pretty good. You know. It's been a it's been a unique week losing losing KB in the middle of the week and uh, uh, you know we're we're kind of Logan starting for the first time we're trying to figure out lineups McKenzie's hurt pretty good so I'm trying to manage that you know there's just a uh, it's been an interesting year man it's been an interesting year but uh, what I told them the other day is you know if you look at it we've got six regular season games left you make a run in the conference tournament that's that's ten games that's a third of your season left you know and, and uh, you can count days left, or you can make days count, and and that's what we're going to try and do is make days count. Shannon, from a, from a player's perspective, the third quarter energy you all came out, I think, went on 14, 13, four run, uh, really quickly, really good energy on both ends of the floor. What what was the difference there in the third quarter for you all from an energy standpoint? I think I even saw a Coach jumping up and down and, and trying to tell you how to get big and and things like that. It just seemed like everybody turned it up. Yeah, that's what we talked about in the locker room before you came in. He was like, we're right here, we're right with them. Because when we were, I think it was Louisiana Tech, we were tied at half, and we just let them go. But we stuck with WKU today and good energy. 
I think more after more baskets and they just get thrown on more. On the flip side, that with that energy and you all battle back and it's tied up that late in the third quarter, how deflating is that whenever you have a pass back into the middle and a subsequent three point play to end the quarter? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's deflating. Those plays happen. I mean, you know, they just, they just happen. I, I think you know, Shana had one of her two turn turnovers today because the ball didn't move either. She had seven assists today, but they just happen. And, and you're never going to, you're never going to hear. We talk a lot about a lot of things behind closed doors, but you'll never hear, you know, one of ours say, yeah, that play of another player was a reason or deflating, or you just won't hear it. Uh, if you do, I'll, I'll manage it. Um, but th those things are just going to happen, especially we're playing a limited number of people, a lot of minutes, and we're starving for something positive. We just got to go make more breaks. We got to go make more breaks. The... Uh Zone seemed to work pretty well. You all switched up and, and seemed like y'all were switching everything and, and Brown got going in the fourth. How difficult of a matchup is she and how difficult oh. is that for you all to, to try and manage, okay, to get back in this, we got to sort of take some chances here. Yeah, well, you know, I think the change in defense is kind of, this is how I feel after the last 40 minutes. This is going to be kind of the way that we change and, and keep people out of foul trouble and kind of manage the rest of the year with the roster that we have. But um, it seemed to work well for us. Ivy's a good player. I mean, she had a lot of different <coughs> opportunities. Marshall was one, you know, um, and uh, uh, she's you know, she's a vet. She's tough. She's inside, outside. Uh, she hurt us here last year, um, but then they also have a senior point guard that's a redshirt senior. So she's in her fifth year of college. She's, they got the returning conference USA Player of the Year. They got a junior in Tasia Brown that's an All Conference player. I mean, they they just got there's a lot of tools to go around that too. Second quarter, they they got out pretty well. You all went through a seven minute lull, and it was very similar to what happened down in Bowling Green, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Is it is it just? Do you see any any similarity between the two situations? Whenever you, to me, you see a play out, that stuff's focus. You know, that that's what it is to me. I'm not, I mean, I'd be right about that, but it, that's what it looks like. It looks like we lose uh, the sense of urgency or intensity, and. Um, you know, like defensively in the second half when they're away from their bench, sometimes I think we're hoping they don't make one as opposed to trying to get a stop, you know. And and uh, what your job is to force them to take a tough shot. If they take tough shots and they beat you, then they just beat you. Uh, but I would rather get beat and not lose, you know. And, and uh, sometimes we lose not just games, but we lose focus or our – that fire in our eyes. And that's not the way the game was meant to be played. The game was meant to be played with fire and desire and passion and humility and pride and guts, in my opinion. Anything else? Thank you.